Welcome back. Today, we're gonna learn how to turn a demonstration into an experiment. Here's what you'll need. You'll need three containers, preferably transparent containers so you can see what's happening. Today, we're gonna use three peppermint candy canes, but you can also use peppermints. Water at room temperature, vinegar also at room temperature, and vegetable oil also at room temperature. Here on Dr. Boyd the Chemist, we've done many demonstrations and some experiments. But what's the difference between a demonstration and an experiment? Simply put, an experiment is performed to answer a predetermined question. A scientific researcher will make a prediction about the outcome of the experiment based on what they already know. We call this prediction a hypothesis. A hypothesis is more than just an educated guess. A hypothesis is a prediction that can be tested through experiments that have valid experimental controls. Using the items we have today, let's try an experiment. We'll start with an assumption. Peppermint candies dissolve in liquids. The question we'll try to answer is, which liquid dissolves the peppermint candies the fastest? For this experiment, all we will do is take the three liquids that we have, pour them in the three liquid transparent containers that we have, and then we will take the candy cane or the peppermint and place it in the liquid. Now listen along as I explain the various aspects of the controls that I'm considering for this experiment. Oh yeah, almost forgot. This experiment is incredibly safe. But be careful not to knock over any of the glasses because there is a spill hazard. Because we want to find out which liquid will dissolve the peppermint the fastest, our variable is the different types of liquids we are using. For our experimental controls, we will use peppermints of similar size. I'm using peppermint candy canes which are manufactured or made at similar sizes. We will also use the same volume of liquid in each cup. Are we missing any controls? Ah, yes. The temperature of the liquids might affect the experiment. So let's make sure that all the liquids are the same temperature too. You'll recall that as I introduced the experiment, I said that I was using room temperature liquids. That means that all the liquids have been sitting out in the same room, meaning that their temperatures we can assume is roughly the same. Finally, we will place the peppermints in the various liquids for about the same amount of time. Okay, last thing. What is my hypothesis? Which liquid do I think will dissolve the peppermint the fastest and why? I have my own hypothesis. You come up with your own. Now this experiment has been running for several minutes and I think we have our winner. As you can see, the vegetable oil hasn't really dissolved the peppermint candy. The vinegar definitely has, but the winner is water. Which makes sense because the peppermint candies are designed to dissolve in water because our saliva is made mostly of water and we consume the peppermint candies. Now, one thing that would have really helped this demonstration or this experiment is if I had weighed the peppermint candies prior to the actual experiment. Then after a few minutes, no matter how long it takes, I should be able to take the peppermint out, weigh them again, and have an assessment as to which one is actually losing mass the fastest, which was dissolving the fastest in the different fluids. In any case, what was your hypothesis? Did you think the water would be the, the best, the vegetable oil or the vinegar? I hope you enjoyed this experiment and I'll see you next time.